Expert thinking or thought leadership has been identified as one of the key skills we need to survive in a changing world where change is like a tsunami absolutely blasting over everything in its wake. There are industries that are disappearing or will be disappearing entirely in the next 10 to 15 years. Moore's Law states that computer capacity doubles every 12 to 18 months. And so if your job can be automated or outsourced, then you'd better start thinking about something else. If you haven't heard of the term disruptive technology, I think it's a really, really good idea for you to go out and find out what that is. So what can't be automated? There are two areas that the computers haven't quite yet cracked. <laughs> the first one is creativity. They don't know how to be creative. And the second one, which is kind of related, is thought leadership, making meaning out of all that information. Traditional learning is all around cognitive processing. It's basically based on what we know, problems that we know. What we need to focus on is solving new problems, problems we don't even know exist yet. Modern learning environment, or 21st century learning, states is based on the premise that the critical skill that our kids need to learn right now is to learn, unlearn and relearn. Information has become a commodity, like air or water. There is no value on it anymore. We've got to make meaning out of that information and that's where expert thinking and thought leadership really comes into play. So let's call all of that what we know. But there are another couple of reasons as to why expert thinking is just so critical today. And the second one is what we use. And it primarily comes down to these things. Did you know that the first iPad was only released in April 2010? That blows my mind. I kind of can't imagine a world where we didn't have access to the huge amount of information port in a portable way. So now we don't suddenly need to have it sitting in our head because we can have it sitting here. Now another part of what we use is our information network. There are entire nations that have never touched a PC which are going into this and that's how they get the information. 20 years ago, had, there was a huge amount of the population that had never even seen a phone. Now there are more phones than there are people. <laughs> M-learning or mobile learning is explosively growing and the places that it's explosively growing are Africa, Asia, Latin America and South America. These people are hungry to learn and they want to get their access through these. And that's where there is a huge opportunity in expert thinking. But there's one other key consideration to think about when wondering whether thought leadership or expert thinking is a valuable skill, and that is who we are. I recently had the privilege of seeing Raj Sisodia, who is the co-founder of the global movement Conscious Capitalism Speak and he absolutely blew me away with who we are. Do you know that we are smarter, more caring, and we are more purpose-driven than ever before? <music> Professor James Flynn from Otago University, I know his family actually, he discovered this amazing concept called the Flynn Effect. So essentially what the Flynn Effect captures is that every decade for the last eight decades, the average human IQ has been raised by three to four percent. Someone with an average IQ today would be in the top two to three percent of IQ in the 1930s. Well, this could be debatable for some of you, but essentially it comes down to the fact that there are more female leaders. Gone are the days of command and control, autocratic thinking, not looking good, all that good stuff, and now we are in more caring and more purpose-driven organisations. The feminine touch is a little more gentler than the masculine touch, and thankfully, as a global nation, we are embracing that. So what happens is between the ages of 38 to 42 on average, we start to suffer a little meaning crisis. 
That documentary on something awful happening on the other side of the world, that affects us just a little bit more deeply. So, the human population has been getting older. So now we have a median age of humans at 44. So suddenly we're an older population, so we're also a more meaning, purpose-oriented population. But there's another interesting thing that's coming to play here, and that is that the millennials, those younger kids, are proving themselves to be a more meaning-based and purposeful-oriented generation than ever before. So basically, that means we are more smart, we are more caring, and we are more purpose-oriented. I am absolutely privileged to be working with Thought Leaders Global, which is a community founded by Matt Church, all around embracing our own thought leadership or expert thinking. Matt has a vision of a thousand thought leaders in the room who are all commercially successful and have influence and have the resources available to make the world, quite literally, a better place. And that's what I am truly humbled to be doing with my purpose by embracing people on their own journey to thought leadership and expert thinking.